Do you still have your rubber egg? Is it still bouncing? <laughs> well, today we're going to be doing something a little bit differently. We're going to make a non-Newtonian fluid. That's how, that's a big word, isn't it? That's just a fancy word for saying we're going to make slime. While we're making our slime that I am going to go over why the slime is called a non-Newtonian fluid. All right, so let's get started. The first thing we need is a half a cup of glue. As you can see, I use clear glue. So I have a half a cup of glue and the recipe also calls for a half a cup of water. We're gonna pour that in and mix it together. And we wanna mix this up really good. And we have this nice gluey solution. So now we have half a cup of water and a half a cup of glue. Because as you can see, the glue is pretty clear and we don't want to miss and we don't want to mistake this for another substance. Our glue is pretty clear. Oops, I wasted a little bit of glue. The next part is, do we want to add some food coloring? Yellow, green, red, blue, which one should I do? I like blue. So I'm going to add some blue. And we're going to mix this up. And as we can see now, our solution is blue. The next part re re requires a bowl. And we need one cup of water, which I already have labeled. And we need one teaspoon of borax. Borax powder. One teaspoon. And we want to mix this together. Borax is a detergent enhancer, which means if you want to put a little bit of borax in your next load of laundry, it is going to give your laundry detergent superpowers. We want to mix this up until all the borax is dissolved. And we're going to slowly add our glue solution. Slowly. And when we're adding it, we want to mix it up really good. Add a little bit more. I want you to see what's starting to happen inside of the bowl. Oh, can you see? See, it's starting to form this slime-like mixture already. See? And let's just pour the rest on in there. And stir this up really good. I'm gonna pour it in a bowl, a clear bowl, so you can see what is actually happening. Even though we have a little bit of liquid, that is okay. Oh, did you hear that big glob? As you can see, looking at the bowl, we have this slime mixture. Look at it. Ooh. And I'm not sure about you, but I do want to get my hands messy. So we're going to play with it. Look at it. Let's put this bowl back over here to um, catch any residual fluids that's flowing out. <gasps> and we can mess it up and squeeze it. Oh, that thing is pretty stuck together, is it not? And even though that you would think it, it would be sticky because of the glue, it's actually not. It's actually fun. So the more we play with it, <laughs> the firmer it is going to become. And don't worry about the extra liquid in the other bowl. So the reason why this is called a non-Newtonian fluid is because, on a, because a Newtonian fluid, its viscosity or ability to flow is strictly dependent on the temperature. If we heat a liquid, it's gonna flow faster than a cold liquid and that would be a Newtonian fluid. But a non-Newtonian fluid is something that changes its viscosity or the ability to flow, not based on temperature, but based on other factors like pressure. 
See? Let's see how this thing flows. Ooh. Is it flowing fast or slow? Ah, uh, pretty slow, huh? Now let's see if we squeeze it. Uh, the rate of the flow changed. Did it go faster or slower? So, slime, we created a non-Newtonian fluid in which I would like for you to research what are some other non-Newtonian fluids that we come encounter with in the real world. Bye-bye for now.